Okay, one of the questions I keep getting that I haven't really had a good answer to yet is, Jamie, how are you gonna move big logs when you gotta move big logs? Ah, oh, okay. I have a big log, it's not a huge log. Oh, naked three-year-old, can you go inside? <sighs> okay, anyway, I've got a pretty big log that's kind of like approaching the maximum of what I can move, like myself. Um, and that's this log right here. There's my five-year-old making the log look enormous, but I'm much bigger compared to the log. But it's really dense wood, and it was just some tree over there that was getting termite damage that I cut down before it fell down. Now, there are significant parts of it that were still in really good shape. So this is like brand new wood. It's very dense and hard. This is a heavy log. Um, and I kind of dragged it up here just by... Here, let me show you. Okay, so I got the, I got the log kind of up to the house just by going like this. Putting the strap in the middle, crossing the straps, and then this happens to be like the perfect height to go like this and just, uh, and I just you know, inch it along. Uh, but then I got it up here and I was like, you know what? I've got this weird wheel thing I put together, I don't know, a few weeks ago. So I got one of these, what, it's like a trucker's winch thing. What do you, what do you call these? I don't know. Anyway, it's one of those <coughs> ratchet strap. That's a ratchet strap. Anyway, I ratchet strapped the wheels on there and I'm thinking this should be significantly easier to move. Yes, thank you for putting some clothes on. Very, very nice choice. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to go backwards for a second and see how this is. Oh, oh, that's so easy. Oh my God. I can, I can move one that's like three times as weight with this. Although, well, I don't, I don't know how much the wheels can handle, but they could definitely handle more than this. But this is on a flat. I'm about to get to an uphill, so that'll be the real test. But man, on the flat, this is a piece of cake. I think I want to still go backwards though, so I can see where the wheels are. Probably should have made these a little skinnier, but I didn't know what size things I'd be moving with this. But yeah, this is easy. Stop. You can look. Now, obviously, the reason this is so easy to lift is because, you know, these wheels, they're not in the middle. They're toward, I don't know, it's like a third and then two thirds. So I'm only lifting like a third of the thing and the wheels are taking up most of the weight. Um, I'm about to go down a little slope here. I'm gonna have to be careful about that because this is definitely downhill, that part there. And then this is uphill all the way around. I think it's wide enough that my wheels will fit. I don't know, Let's, I'm just gonna try it. All right, and I'm, I'm like, fairly certain that I'm strong enough to stop this thing from, you know, it's not, I'm not going to lose control going down this little downhill part. I'm going to get myself into a bit of a sneaky spot here, but I don't think it'll be anything serious. this part because I can just put the log down and it's its own break. And it's not like it's even going to break. I did not want to hit that tree. That little tree there? That's a rambutan. You want that. Right. Jane, I think the wheels are about this long. This wide of all. One time, one and this wide will not fit on the path. Do you think they'll fit on the path? Yeah or no? One I'm about to go uphill. Yes, we did have Ram B10. That's where I got the seeds for this, this tree. This tree and there's another one right there. We want to keep those. Don't, don't hit them with your teddy bear. Huh? Yeah. I remember when I chopped off all the vines and wrapped them on that one. Oh, don't hit the tree. I don't that. All right, this isn't too bad. Jamie? Except my wheels are going off. I actually meshed. I did this. Don't, don't go near that. In case. All right, I want all kids to stay away from the back of this, just in case it rolls back. I do not want anyone getting... 
it would be nice if these wheels were a little more stable so they didn't twist so I could control the steering more easily from the other end. Other than that, yeah, I think I can take this up the hill. No problem. This one's a piece of cake. Well, I mean, if cake came in like 400 pound form or whatever. <laughs> It's a 400 pound cake! Alright. Well, my battery died when I was wheeling that sucker up. But I got it up here, no problem. And I'm kind of impressed. Like, that's a decent sized log. It's about 8 feet long. And it's very dense wood. Uh, Obviously, you know, I've, I've cut things out of logs that are like this big, but still, you know, I got that up here pretty easily just with a pair of wheels. And I think I might just cut one of these right now because it's a nice sunny day. I'll Probably like do one. the big one. That one? Yeah. The thing is, I'll, I'll be able to get longer boards out of this. Maybe I should save this till I know what I want to do with it. I could cut some pieces out of that just to see what it's like. I'm not sure how wet the wood is. Um, it was a termite damaged tree, but it's probably, like I'm sure it has some moisture in it, but it wasn't dead. Um, I don't know, it's also really hard wood. So maybe the moisture won't make that much of a difference. Oh, let's let's try cutting this. What, what can we cut out of it? <gasps> what do you want? I want... You want a sword? You can make me this big sword. <laughs> make you a giant wood sword that size. Just... I have some boards up here. Maybe I'll cut those while I'm up here into something. Why? Why are... Why does the baby have pants? Why are the baby's pants here? I don't understand why the baby's pants are up here. Wait, wait. Oh, I don't... Whatever. All right, what do I want to turn this into? I have no idea. All right, let's, let's make a wood sword first. Like a, about that wide, that thick. Let's make one of them. Definitely wet. Man, that is really dense wood. Really hard. Well, right, let's cut a few pieces out of it, see how it goes. I'm probably gonna leave that log to dry for a while before I mess around. It does smell really nice. It smells like cotton candy. Yeah. So, do you think that's a good piece for your brother's wood sword? Why does he want a wood sword? He's got a machete. Oh man, look at that. Oh, nice cotton. Oh, so good. Yeah, look how heavy that piece of wood is. That is some really dense wood. All right, this kid over here has been making a dollhouse and doesn't have a good way to cut boards herself. She always needs me to start the bandsaw and everything. Um, 
So I think I'm going to make her a miter box. I don't have a very good hand saw. Maybe we'll get a better one next time I go to town. Or maybe I can sharpen one or make one. I don't know. Whatever. I'm going to make her a miter box so she can safely hand cut wood. So what do I what do I need here? Like a like a one by four. Geez, just one piece of one by four would probably be good. Nah, there's not much left of that. Like I could try to get these couple pieces out here, but the board's getting so light now it's gonna start moving, so that's good. Yeah, we got an odd about amount of wood. Pretty good, hey, give me some fives. All right. That does smell good, doesn't it? <laughs> Well, I have to put this somewhere to dry, I guess. Well, I don't want to leave it there too long because in the morning the sun is going to hit it. Uh, put it in the shade somewhere. Are you going to work on the dollhouse some more? You want me to work on your dollhouse now? Hmm. Or you can make me saw you were talking about. The miter saw box? The miter box? Mm, miter box first, then dollhouse. <laughs> All right, I got a couple other things I need to do. though. <laughs> They're not dollhouse related. Oh, but if I get her set up with a miter box, then... Then she can just go on her own. But I, I really do need to get some other stuff done. All right, I'll set up this miter box. I don't know, in a bit.